So we had a really close match there with Chris Kane for Cyber Dark Impact, but unfortunately we ended up losing. Uh, which was kind of ironic considering that we opened up a bunch of stuff and none of it really changed <laughs> the game for either of us. Um, but somehow the game was uh, super close this time around, whereas when we battled for Power of the Duelist, I kind of won 2-0. It's kind of funny, but I guess that's just the power of not knowing Microcosmos and then knowing Microcosmos is coming. Nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and move on to today where we're going to be opening up a whole metric fuck ton of packs. Starting off with McDonald's Pro Series 2. Let's go ahead and just flip this up and we're actually going to get the uh, Elemental Hero Electrum. That's... You know, that's something, <laughs> to say the very least. Um, he's, he's funny because I can use him with a couple of different things, so it's not horrible having him. So, you know, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and get, I guess, add that to the collection. Let's go ahead and see what else we can get from this. Oh! We actually got it. <laughs> All right, we got the White Horned Dragon. Basically, the only other thing I really wanted in this set. Let's absolutely add that to the collection. Now let's go ahead and retry one last time here. Flip up to get nothing useful. All right, so that was pretty dope. All I really wanted from that was the White Horned Dragon. We managed to get it, as well as the Electrum. That's actually really good. Uh, the Electrum is good with like Future Fusion, and uh, there's this other card. Um, where if you have a trap, it's a trap card, and you can reveal a fusion monster, and you can select any card that's listed on that monster's text as material, add it to your hand, and also add polymerization for the graveyard if you have it. Uh, so Electrum is good for that because you can pick up a bunch of heroes from it, but unfortunately he uses all the vanilla heroes, so it's not very useful in that regard. But in any case, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next Duelist Pack here with Duelist Pack 3 Jaden Yuki 2. This one is okay. Um, it's definitely a step up from the previous one, but it's nothing amazing. Um, we're going to go ahead and get another copy of Neils, which is kind of cool, but I think I already had three copies of this. Another emergency call. We're going to get the Aqua Neils. You know, whatever, because I don't have the Aqua Dolphin. Uh, I'm going to get, I believe, another copy of Flare Neils. Common Souls, not half bad. Another Neil Space is okay. Um, I'm going to actually get another uh, Neil Space. But also a Dark Panther. I don't know if I have Dark Panther. Dark Panther is actually not half bad. Uh, because Dark Panther lets you... I think he like neg he might not negate the effect of a monster. But yeah, he definitely copies the effect of a monster, which is, you know, might be good. Let's go ahead and open up the next packs here. Uh, we're going to get the Light Laser, which is not really great. And open up the last one here, and ah oh, man, we are gonna get the uh, Wild Wingman, which we missed out on before. I was hoping to get a copy of uh, Card Trooper again, but that doesn't seem like that's gonna be the case. All right, let's go ahead and add that to the collection. Then we're gonna move on right along. For some reason, this list, do this pack four as Zane, but five as Aster Phoenix. Interesting. You can see here, if we go look at this, we see that on February the 7th, we've got Duelist Pack 2 and Duelist Pack Aster Phoenix. Then we got uh, Zane Truzel. For some reason here, it's reversed, which is interesting. But anyways, we already agreed to Aster Phoenix. Let's go ahead and do the Aster Phoenix one. This has a couple of interesting cards that um, I don't even know if we have access to just yet. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right, not half bad. Another Dasher. That's okay. Next up is going to be ES Destiny Draw. That is great. I wanted to see that. Only one copy of it. Multiple would be nice. Uh, let's go ahead and open up. We're actually going to the Clock Tower Prison that we missed out on. Got ourselves a third Dasher. All right. That's fine. Next up is going to be D Spirit, which is okay. Uh, we, I believe, already had enough of those. We're going to open the last one here, and it's going to give us nothing great, but we did back up the Destiny Draw, which is good. Unfortunately, we didn't get the malicious, which is something we could have gotten out of this. But all right, you know, better than nothing. So I've gone through these a little bit quickly just because uh, we still got Strike of Neos to go through. So we've already done 
three different pack openings, or three different sets, I should say. But now let's go on to the main meat and potatoes here with Strike of Neos. Please give us some good stuff. Uh, okay, right off the bat, we're gonna get the super rare Dark World dealing. This is one of the things I was really hoping to get in this. Uh, pulling a rug is kind of interesting. Um, you used to see this a lot with like monarchs, but his effect is activated when the monster is normal summoned. So this actually negates the effect of his magnets, which is kind of interesting. Um, and this just destroys a fusion monster. Okay. So that's kind of interesting to have as well. Both of these are pretty interesting picks. This stops our Canaanite Joker. This stops his magnets from doing anything because it negates their effect, destroys the monster, so he wastes his normal summon. So that's almost like a free solemn judgment um, in th these situations. So that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and see what else we're going to get. Ooh, we're actually going to get the Hero City. Okay, that's really good. Uh, I would love to be able to make some use of this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do much with only one card, but that's pretty good. And we also got the Neo Spacing Grandma. That's what I'm talking about. Alien Psychic, I don't think is very good. Uh, there are a couple of cards I'm waiting for to make the Alien deck a little bit more viable. Um, Alien Psychic is really not one of them. Had he way better stats, he actually would have been usable, but he uh, unfortunately has garbage stats, so he's really not good. Uh, other than that, we also see the beginning of the Six Sams as well as some ritual stuff. I always liked uh, these guys. I, I used to always build decks for like my friends whenever we were playing because they weren't really good at deck building. And I built my deck, or built my friend a deck using uh, this card, plus like blue eyes and stuff like that. So it was like normal monsters plus this. It was pretty interesting. Uh, we're gonna get our third new space and grand mold. Love to see that, as well as some six Sams. Not bad. Uh, right. Uh, Nova Summoners. Kind of interesting. That's gonna be one of the secret rares for the set. We're gonna get the advanced ritual art, which is really good. Um, I have this deck in. Um, uh, Dual links that might even be able to bring out this time around, maybe. Basically, what I would do is I would use Sparkman and Clayman in advanced ritual art, and I would send them to the graveyard to get out Cyber Angel Jokini, since they're both normal monsters. Then I would have Miracle Fusion to then fuse those guys and go into um, either Gaia or go into Shining, or I could even go into uh, Thunder Giant if I really want to. So I can almost feasibly build that here but me only having one copy of miracle fusion is gonna make this a little bit difficult plus my fusion targets aren't really that good i can't really use advanced ritual art with choo choo lane uh because i can only send one monster so that's not really amazing um the fact that she's a light is kind of cool but i don't have the shine to make use of her um uh, la 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 nothing great here Neospatian Glomos is whatever. <laughs> Speak of the devil, <laughs> we're gonna actually get the uh, Glow Neos to go along with that. Uh, we're gonna get the Twister, which is really good because this is gonna allow me to get through Chris Kane's three fucking future fusions. So that's pretty good. Not bad. I'm uh, gonna get the Frost Source, which is sick because he's at 2600. So uh, that's a pretty big monster that you could just slap down with one tribute. Not bad. Uh, after that, we're going to get the Spyro Serpent, which is the closest thing to a Blue Eyes that we're going to get, aside from, I guess, Neos here. So I guess that's okay. Uh, some more Six Samurai stuff. I do have reinforcements, so that's kind of cute. Uh, where? Oh, whoa, this is apparently $300 for some reason. But we're going to get the Neos, the Elemental Hero Grand Neos. We almost are able to summon this. Um, like, um... We're almost able to summon this um, consistently because we have three of everything. But I don't know if that's really worth it. He does have a cool effect where he just bounces one card on the field to the hand. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to make too much use of that. But I'll put that in my back pocket. Um, nothing real to write home about. I used to um, side deck electric virus often because I think it, uh, it like destroys machines. Yeah. Or do you take control of it? Is that what it is? Do I discover a target one machine or dragon type monster your opponent control? Take control of it until the end of the phase. Yeah, I thought that was an interesting side deck card. Never really got it ever to see it be used, but I thought it was always interesting. Gonna get another pulling the rug as well as another ancient ritual art, which is nice to have. Um, if only I had pulled one of the, um, you know, Rune Queen or Demise or anything like that, I'd really be, I'd really be cooking with some gas now, but unfortunately we just did not get any of that stuff. 
I got some subpar stuff here. Uh, we're actually gonna get the air Neil, so we're kind of killing it with the ultra rares. Too bad none of them are really that great. Um, but all right, that is okay. I don't have hummingbird yet, so. Oh, DD Crow. All right, so that's really good. That is gonna help me a lot if Chris Kane is trying to summon Berserkia, and I can just banish um, the uh, Magnet in the graveyard with this, and boom, he's screwed. That's actually really good to have. Uh, we're gonna get another Twister, which is really good. We have we're doing really good on spell and trap move because we have Heavy Storm, Giant True Nade, Rice is Justin, and now we got Twister. There's no way he's gonna be able to play Future Fusion against us at this rate. But that's all right. Uh, gonna get another Frost Stars, which is okay. Uh, nothing else to write home about here. Uh, gonna get Fusion Devourer. Oh yes, we got another copy of Hero City. Okay. I don't know if I have Terraforming. I really hope if I, I do have Terraforming. Unfortunately, this is my first, I think, copy of Alien Cell Scatterburst. Uh, I wasn't planning on playing a lot of these, but I was hoping to get a couple of these. I could use it when I built the Alien deck, but that's fine. All right, two copies of Hero Cities. I actually not have that. We might be able to make something work with it. We might be able to build some kind of city deck. Um, nothing really amazing here. Gonna get our third advanced virtual art. Um, I definitely have the the choo choo lane to play with. Uh, gonna get another pulling the rug. Um, change of hero is not really great. It just you tribute I think a hero and it does damage equal to its uh, level times 300, which isn't really great. Oh no, it's when a fucking fusion is destroyed, then you can by battle and sense of the grave specifically, then you can do that. Which is not really great at most. Ooh, at most I'm doing like 2400 or something like that. Going up to the last couple of packs here. I'm pretty satisfied with my opening. We did get the Hero City, which is really good. Uh, we're going to get the fucking Ultra Rare Rainbow here, which I don't really know if I can do anything with this. I do have a somewhat killer Dark World package now, to be honest. I have basically everything we, we can have access to. Um, and then we got another DD Crow, which is really good. Pretty good against Prince Kane. I'm going to get a fourth, I think, Neo Space and Grand Mall. Uh, as well as another glow moss, which uh, is not really anything great there. I'm gonna get cloak and dagger. Pretty sure this is gonna be something super specific. Go so monster type. If your opponent normal summons, special summons, or flips that monster, remove that monster from play. Oh, one monster name. Oh. <laughs> so if he summons and it removes it from play, so I can just call alpha, and as soon as that guy hits the field. Bye bye. Uh, I could also just call it Berserkion. I uh, could do the same thing with anything. Wow, that's kind of that's super interesting. All right, let's open up the last pack here, which is going to give us another scatter shot at the very least, as well as another Frostaurus. Um, you know, overall we did pretty solid. Um, I don't know if there was really too much that I missed out on this. Set wasn't amazing but it did have a couple of little clutch things that was nice to pull we didn't get like Chien Shogun or anything like that you know but um I think we did pretty okay monsters right uh, yeah there was no cool titles <laughs> just no, past elemental heroes at this point yeah. it had some cool stuff but uh nothing oh amazing. I'm not even recording damn it hold on <laughs> <laughs> the hell's wrong with me all yeah. right hold on yep we got a lot to go through here, but these are McDonald's promo cards too. Really nothing amazing here. The only things worth noting were the Flu of Summon Karibo, Whitehorn Dragon, and maybe these two fusions. That's really about it. Everything else is really not good, uh, aside from, I guess, maybe also legit. That's it. Then we go to Duelist Pack Jading Yuki 2. Uh, and this was a little step up from the first one, but still not the you know not something groundbreaking um it is nice to get another shot at these but i'm pretty sure chris kane and i had like 50 copies of each of these cards uh so there's not really anything amazing in the comments here in the rares there is um not much again uh wild edge would have been kind of cool if we could have picked that up uh the ultra rares are looking really good super rare is really not but the ultra rares would have been amazing getting a card trooper would have been really sick uh, different, uh, better from a different dimension really isn't too amazing. Uh, it's kind of 
niche for like Chris Kane. He can like if I you know bounce his um uh what's his his name Berserkion, he can like use this to bring back the Magnets and summon it again or something like that. So it has that kind of niche applications. Then we take a look at the Astro Pack here. Um, it's basically just Enemy of Justice <laughs> with just the Destiny Hero stuff specifically. Uh, nothing really amazing here in the commons. Getting another Dasher was pretty cool. Destiny Sitting Wheel is always nice to have. The Rares, unfortunately, had another copy of Dogma, which would have been nice. Uh, Could have gotten another Enforcer as well. Um, the Super Rares, and we did miss out again on the Shiny Enforcer. Um, but then finally, the only real good thing here would have been the Destiny Draw, which we did manage to get, as well as Malicious. But you need multiple Malicious to make it work, so getting him here wouldn't have been amazing anyways. The other thing here is that we could have actually gotten Dreadmaster. It's funny how immediately they realized Dreadmaster was garbage, because they bumped him down from Ultra Rare to Rare in this set. And finally, we got Strike of Neos, which is again, finally, the first set where we're going to get 69 cards in them. So we get a little bit more cards to choose from. Um, we're also going to start seeing slightly better packs from here on out. Um, this one has the beginnings of a couple of interesting things. So we have like six Sams, which is, you know, there. Um, and we have some six Sam support as well, a little bit of a, some ritual support, especially with advanced ritual art. We've got these dumb monsters that when they're like tribute summoned, you destroy everything except their attribute or something like that. But no one's really going to be able to do anything with that. Uh, we also got Secret Rares, which is where our, our new nine cards come from. These are all fairy support. I don't really see them seeing any play, really, for either of us. Uh, I did get the Nova Summoner, which I think once he's destroyed by a battle, he lets me special summon one light fairy for 1500 or less. I don't really see how that's going to be usable for me. I don't think I have any fairies that I can really play that with. Um, for the rares, we did get the Twister, which is really good. Thankfully, this doesn't also stop. Uh, this doesn't really affect us much if Chris King gets a bunch of Twisters. Aside from Marco Cosmos and stuff like that, that's really all we play face up. But that doesn't really... That's not like the main focus of our game plan unless we go back to the Marco uh, Dinos. Um, I'm really only playing Marco's Cosmos to just try and hamper Chris Kane, right? So we're not a huge loss. Whereas like if I hit a future fusion, that's kind of all of Chris Kane's game plan there, right? Uh, Cloak and Dagger is kind of interesting. And pulling the rug is uh, really big against Chris Kane. That stops all of his magnets because they have uh, or at least the two big ones. They have summons uh, effects on when they're summoned. So that's kind of good. I'm going to... Keep an eye on this one. Uh, DD Crow is also really good. We might get DD Crowed. It's not too bad if we get DD Crowed because we only have the one Miracle Fusion. So we don't often <laughs> go to the graveyard to do much with it. But it is something that we're going to have to keep an eye out. Uh, for the super rares, as you see, we did get the two copies of Skyscraper, which is really good. Whether or not I'll be able to make much use of it, we'll just have to wait and see. Dark World Dealings is amazing because it's just a draw card. Fortunately, Chris Kane draws one as well. Hopefully, he loses a piece that's useful to him as opposed to, you know, getting something more useful, but who knows? Um, other than that, Birthright would have been kind of cool. We didn't get the Hummingbird. We got the Fusion instead. Uh, G1 Werewolf would have been kind of cool, and uh, Shogun would let us actually do something with Samurais, but we really don't have anything to do with them. Um, and then the Ultimate Rares... Uh, we actually pulled all of these, <laughs> now that I look at it, because we got like, I think, two Glow Neoses, we got a Grand Neos, we got the Air Neos, and we got the Rainbow, so we got all the Ultimate Rares, so this set was actually bonkers for us, too bad everything kind of sucks, because there's not really anything I can do with any of these. Um, I can't summon Air Neos, I can definitely go into Grand Neos, don't know if that's a really good idea, I'd have to play Neos, so, yeah, the, those were all the sets that we opened. Uh, this is kind of different from the Cyberdark Impact episode where we did open a bunch of sets, where we got a bunch of crap. Uh, here we opened up a bunch of packs, I should say. We actually got some pretty interesting stuff. Whether or not it will change anything for us is a different story. Uh, if I were to think to Chris Kane, I don't think this set does really anything for him. Uh, the McDonald's pack does nothing. Maybe he gets the White Horn, or the, sorry, the Flu or something Korea, but that's about it. Um... For the Duelist pack, there's really nothing good for him. Uh, more copies of like Wild Heart stuff, which he can use again, but that's about it. He can maybe get the Card Trooper, which would be kind of cool, you know, um, but that's about it. Uh, this one, I don't think it offers him anything really at all. 
that I can think of aside from maybe the guard penalty. Um, so these three sets are not changing, I don't think, his game plan. Then we go here to um, Strike of Neos, and you know, I think things are basically the same. Uh, unless he manages to pull the six Sams and you know, this guy and like, uh, where, where is he at? Where, where is he at though? This guy, maybe he'll play that. Otherwise, I don't really see him changing his game plan out much. Um, so I'm looking, I'm assuming we're just going to go back to him playing the Arcana Knight Joker stuff. Uh, he even has some more normal monster support. So I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Uh, you can banish one random card in their hand. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. well. All right. Fuck you too. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I look a little bit different because it's a couple of days since we recorded the previous part of this video. I've got a hat on because my hair is being a little bit crazy, especially these curls up here. But in any case, I tried to do the deck profile for this back when I actually did the pulls and I thought the deck was okay. Then I kind of went back and thought to myself, wow, I'm really stupid. I forgot that I can just go ahead and play Future Fusion. Forgot that that was even a thing. We've seen Chris Kane use this to great effect the last two, three episodes, two episodes. Um, and I think it's about time we use it ourselves. The reason why it's almost more powerful for us is that Chris Kane has no way to deal with Future Fusion. So far, all he's used is his Dark World Lightning to get rid of our back row. Other than that, he has, I guess, Blaster Chain if I'm dumb enough to destroy it somehow. That's about it. Um, this set does give us Twister, so if he pulled a couple of copies of those, he's definitely immediately going to add them to the deck. But uh, other than that, he really has no way to combat Future Fusion, which is great, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, and it's going to allow us to basically go into any of our fusions almost. Uh, most importantly, it's going to allow us to do a couple of things. One is put King of the Swamp in the graveyard, who acts as basically any other card that I can use to fusion for the most part, and also lets us put other heroes in the graveyard that we can use for Miracle Fusion. This would be great if I had more copies of this gosh darn card, but I don't. Um, so let's go, I guess, start from the top. Um, I'm actually playing two Bear Statue of the Stormwinds here, which is kind of an odd pick, but I think, if I have this right, if you read this card, it says neither player can special summon monsters except wind monsters. So if I play this on a turn after uh, Future Fusion or before Future Fusion is going to activate, I'm assuming Chris Kane is kind of screwed because he'd have to deal with this first and he can't do that in his standby phase unless he has, you know, some sort of spell or trap card. But you would have to um, fusion summon one fusion monster and you can't fusion summon because that counts as a special summon. So since you can't special summon, you can't do anything. And then afterwards, the third standby phase, you still can't do anything because it's not the second standby phase. So I'm pretty sure this stops future fusion, which is the main reason why I'll be playing it. Uh, the majority of my offense uh, is just trying to get out Great Tornado. So um, what I can do is actually use Barriers of Stormwinds to close out any sort of fusion stuff. If he gets destroyed, okay, fine. I, I guess now I can special summon. And if not, if he's still on the field, then I can just use him with any of my other heroes to just go into Great Tornado. So I figured that would be pretty useful. If not, I actually have, uh, an, if it does work, I should say, I have another copy in the side deck that I might throw in. Three might be a bit much, but we'll see. Uh, if I don't see it, and maybe see it late game and it would have been useful, I don't know, maybe we'll see. Um, and then I also have uh, two copies of DD Crow, which I'll swap them out for if it just doesn't work out. And other than that, everything else is relatively standard for our monster lineup here. Um, what's really great about Future Fusion, it also allows me to use these two Cyber Dragons to get Cyber Twin Dragon, which is really cool. Unfortunately, I don't have the Shining, so I can't go with the Cyber Dragon into any other hero fusion. But, you know, 2600 or 2800 tax twice is still really good. Um, I'm thinking if it comes to a sweet situation which are, where I already have advantage, Cyber Dragon is really not going to do me a lot of help. Um, if I already have monsters on the field, so I can use Future Fusion to dump, a, for, the, for the most part, a pretty dead two copies of a card. So, we'll see how that works. 
Uh, for the spells, everything is about the same. I took out the reinforcements since all of my heroes are also warriors, so I might as well just run E-Call. E it doesn't really make a difference, it's one of the two I run. Um, it doesn't really give me more advantage. I can run an additional combo, but I'm kind of tight for space here. I might game to also take out this power duality, go in with either reinforcements or probably just E-Call. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, I doubt I'll put it in both of them. But, uh, yeah, it just lets me get out everything that I need. Future Fusion is Future Fusion. Great Tornado and everything else is pretty standard. We have back the classic combo of a Hero Lives with Mass Change and Mass Change 2, along with our buddy here, Shadow Mist. She lets us get out any of these change spells when I use this. I also have the Hero Signal, which allows me to special summon her as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, I have, I believe, I thought I had a Summoner Monk in the uh, side deck that I was going to try and use. Because it does allow me to bring out Shadow Mist again and also use her effect that way. She can't attack, but I can also use Max Change on her. So I'm, I might add it to the side deck. Um, let's get rid of this and actually go ahead and add Summoner Monk to the side deck here. I might just add that in. Depending on how things go. Uh, then for the trap cards, things a little bit interesting here. Everything is relatively standard. Till we get to the end here where we have Wall of Revealing Light. Once again, Chris Kane doesn't have any way to deal with this at all. He can maybe activate uh, Blast with Chain somehow or anything like that. But I can just throw this out if he manages to get his Arcana Knight Joker. I have to pay 4,000 life points, which I would have gotten hit with otherwise. But he just has to sit there and watch <laughs> as he can't do anything. Again, there is the Twister that came out in his set. Uh, so I'm kind of going with this, assuming he doesn't have Twister. If he does have Twister, I will possibly take out this uh, Wall Revealing Light and maybe even the Future Fusions. Maybe, I don't know, probably not. And throw in something like a Threatening Roar, which is, more or less does the same thing, but it's only for one turn. Just in case I need to stall out a little bit more to come back. Because uh, unlike the uh, sort of stun removal deck I was playing before, I don't really have any way to come back. So as if I can stop him from doing anything, that deck style wins. But as soon as he gets stuff out, it's kind of hard for me to come back. Especially considering that, you know, his Uncanonite Joker can just negate anything that I throw at him. And I have pretty much one for one removal. Which is what makes this a little bit more difficult. I don't have anything like a... Or Geki or Dark Hole or anything like completely blow him out. Uh, specifically something that doesn't target. Right? Um, so I need stuff like Wall of Revealing Light and Threatening War just to sort of let me survive for like a turn or so. If I had something like Arcana the, uh, the Fool or uh, you know, Marshmallow, something that would be destroyed by battle too, that would also do it. But I don't. The closest thing I have is Gyroid. And uh, I could argue that that's not a bad pick. But it's a little bit tough to put him into the deck. Maybe what I could do... Ugh, no. I'm, I'm putting in the VD Crow for the bear statues. Just in case. But maybe what I'll do is... Instead of... <sighs> Magic Journey is interesting, but it only really works on Future Fusion and Dark Hole. He doesn't really have a lot of Magic cards that are that crazy. So let's actually just take that out. And let's try and go ahead and use the Gyroid here. I might end up throwing in like Gyroid and Summoner Monk game two, seeing if I can get a little bit of mileage with that. But that's basically the deck. Uh, I think it's gonna work out pretty well. We got Future Fusions. We can easily search out a lot of our pieces. Uh, we can dump a bunch of stuff, get a bunch of fusions out, go ham, win the game. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I did my pack opening like last night and I built my deck this morning, so I think we're good. Ooh, okay. Yep. All right. It's <laughs> gonna say Strike and Neos has some interesting stuff in it. Did you, uh, did you like it? Um, did I like Strike of Neos? Strike of Neos was kind of disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, disappointing it had... in the disappointing in the sense there were no dinosaur monsters, right? Uh, yeah, there was no cool dinos. <laughs> Just no, past I... elemental heroes at this point. Yeah. <laughs> it had some cool stuff, but uh, nothing. Oh, amazing. I'm not even recording. Damn it! Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> the hell's wrong with me? All right, hold on. Yep. <laughs>
<laughs> I can't believe I almost forgot to record. <laughs> yeah, Good thing I that. realized. Yeah. I'm still I'm still fatigued from my busy week, but <laughs> anyway, striking Neos was okay, but yeah, you're disappointed. There's no dinosaurs for you to play with. Yeah. <laughs> my dinos. Yeah, it's like that meme, you have your dinosaurs, you just drop the elements of heroes. I'm done playing with you. Yeah. <laughs> As of right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly how it would be. Yep. That's how it is. Oof. Okay. All right. Let's pray a snipe hunter doesn't fuck me this time. <laughs> All right, you didn't so just, I... like, throw him out the deck, but okay. Um, I mean, sometimes I think about it, but I'm just like... You're kind of the only thing. You're like the best thing I got, so. Oh, you made me go first. Oh, man. This yeah, I'm gonna make you go first. The absolute worst. Um, I'm gonna set three. Go ahead. Okay. All right. I think I'm also gonna have the sound effects just because. Um, why not? Sure. Um, okay, interesting. <laughs> Knowing you at this point, you probably set your your heavy storm because <laughs> yeah. you've been you've known to do that. I set heavy um, storm, giant true nade, and malevolent nuzzler. Well, like you'd set like two traps and heavy for some reason. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna go with the classic. Go okay. ahead. <sighs> go ahead. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> Ooh, uh, that that would have been a good move if that worked out that way. Um. All right, so uh, let's start the duel off with a good old Kappa. <laughs> we yep. select the middle card, and I guess this one. All right. So yeah, these two right here. It is gonna be the two good for hits. one. It is call. And Wait, hero signal. Where, where'd you get call? Uh, the 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 deck, the uh, the, what's it called, structure deck. Oh my god, I don't. Okay. I don't remember you ever using call. No, damn. I might have used it like once, and that was about it. <laughs> I I think I would have remembered. Damn. Okay. Um. Jeez, what do I want to do now? All right, I'm gonna normal summon crown the mage, but okay. I am going to go into battle phase. So let's sure. go ahead and tack for 650. Sure thing. All right, and go for 1800. Sure thing. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Jesus fuck. Stand by main. Oh no, man. Set. It... Go ahead. Oh my god, you like I that's bad. Like you set hero signal, but you had no monster to set. Nope. Oh no. Well. Uh let's go ahead, I guess. We're gonna normal summon a snipe hunter. Sure thing. Uh I think I will go for his effect. So let's go ahead and discard a card. Uh -huh. We're gonna target that card and let's roll a die. Also, I just realized Crown of the Mage is right there. Why the fuck did I just do that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why did I do that? All right. Anyway, let's just go um, ahead and just attack. I'll activate the card you tried to well pop. Damn. Um, I guess I'll do. You do have Crown of the Mage. So maybe I shouldn't. Um, <laughs> you need a spell card, huh? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm fucked if I don't, anyways, right? So whatever, I'll, I'll throw away four thousand life points. Four thousand? Yep. Dude, I would have went for two thousand. Like that's that's pretty high. Yep. All right. Well, main phase two. Uh, I think I will. Use Crown the Mage's effect. Mm -hmm. Have to discard a spell. Yep. And it is just a spell, not a normal spell, which I thought he was. Um, I believe I only I try to attack with Snipe Hunter. So I will switch Kappa to defense. He also summoned Snipe Hunter. Yeah. Yeah, I did summon him. Oh my fucking god! Wow. Um. Really? <laughs> Jesus. So. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, that was really a close and exciting game one, but uh, I think things might be different now. I'll go second. Okay. <laughs> you want that extra card. <laughs> I apparently need it, so yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. 
Yeah, I was gonna say I, I, I thought about this for a little bit that I was like we, we never actually answered a question like GX kind of question since starting the, the season so I was like just for like a random thing to talk about like what's what's a uh, what's the uh, dorm you think you'd stay in on the, on the GX island um, after yeah. this game one I'm obviously Slifer Red <laughs> well we'll see <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and I think I'm just going to do that. Wow. You're just going to casually play six Sam's and you yep. can like, all right, cool. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. All right. Stand by main. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll activate the call. Okay. I'm going to take a look at my deck and... Yeah, about add... to say... Uh -huh. About to say the way I see it, I think, uh, I think I'd probably be in yellow, but yeah. I don't know. So yellow is apparently you did really good on the exams. Are you saying you're a good test taker? Oh yeah. Okay. I think, but like I don't, I don't strive for like perfect perfection. Right. Just, just, just passing. Right. Which, right. Uh, especially in public school, just, just pass pub, just pass your classes. Like don't, you know. I mean, it, it, unless the classes are that easy, don't, you know, worry about it too much. Yeah, I'm definitely. I mean, you're great. I mean, your grade point average is important, but just keep that in mind. Don't yeah. don't fuck up your classes. Like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm gonna throw down the Neos alias. Oh, wow, an alias. Okay. And I guess I'll just go to battle. Um, this doesn't do anything unless you have another Super Sam, right? Yeah, by himself, he's he's nothing. He's just an 1800 attacker. Fair enough. I'll attack into Shrink. Yep. <laughs> you already called it. Yep. Um, so that cuts my attack into... Uh, 950. 950. I believe so. Yep. That means I will take 950. No, 850. No, 850. Yep. yep. Cool beans. He'll go to green. All right. I'll go to main two. Guess I'll set two. Go ahead. All right. Green cap is like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbing his hands together. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, I was gonna say. Did Did you know? Apparently, in GX, there is a green dorm. Oh right, yeah, they had uh, <laughs> they had mentioned it in one of the, the episodes like, accidentally. So, some yeah, somehow it's like a thing, like in the anime. Like there's people in green jackets, but it's never explained. Yeah, <laughs> and I never noticed that. Maybe they're just alumni. I like to purge the dub out of my mind. Yeah, that never <laughs> happened. Dude. <laughs> I love when people share clips of it. I um, know, but okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I I think GX in Japanese is so much better. Okay. Well, that's just how it is. <laughs> yeah. No, but the Japanese dub, it's like way better. Absolutely. But people can't seem to get over the one inch of like text on the screen. Yeah. They just can't people do just it. can't read. I can't watch it. I can't yeah. watch it. Right. Yeah, I remember going on YouTube and finally watching GX season four, and I was like, "This shit is so good." Yeah, I was like, "Man, like you know how like you know it would be um, it'd be like English subtitles, but the videos were like part one of four episode season four episode one on YouTube, and you have to like connect them, or they'd be like yeah. in Espanol or something." <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, <laughs> Like, that, that, those were good times. Yeah, good old days. The only of way to watch it. Yep, only way to watch the uh, season that never made it to the States. Yeah. Huh, let's see. This is very interesting. I was about to say, without alias, you're fucked, huh? <laughs> um, I, no, it's just I have two routes I can go for. One is kind of dumb. But might actually work in the long long run. The other one is right. kind of basic. All right. Well, you got to win two games, so hopefully yeah. this works out. So maybe I have to. Uh, maybe I have to do the dumb one, huh? Four cards in hand against one Zanji. Who wins? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't really have a choice. Uh. So I'm gonna normal summon Summoner Monk. Right? Ooh. Okay. His effect. He goes into defense. Yep. Then I will discard. Um, just want to make sure I read this right. Yeah. Discard a spell. Discard a spell. All right. 
I will discard Future Fusion classic, to bring out... Classic Summoner Mug. Yep. Uh, Shadow Mist. When Shadow okay. Mist is special summoned, I can add a Mass Change to my hand. Alright. I will go ahead and use that Mass Change to send Shadow Mist to the graveyard. And mm -hmm. she will henshin into Dark Law. Okay. Then Shadow Miss's effect lets me add a hero from my deck to my hand, so I'll grab this uh, heat. I mean, I, I don't think that move at all was stupid. Well, I, I got rid of <laughs> f Future Fusion, so I don't know. Wow. We'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see if it's worth it. Let's tack into Zanji here. All right, you're able to get over the Zanji. Nice. We'll actually get banished. That's right. It was a random ass effect. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Any card your any card sent to the opponent's graveyard is banished. Once per turn, your opponent adds. Wait. Once per turn, your opponent adds cards from their deck to their hand. Uh, you can banish one random card in their hand. Oh wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, all right. Fuck you too. Um. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, hopefully. Okay. Hopefully this works out. All right. Uh, standby main. Uh, I guess I'll summon Sparkman here. Uh huh. Um. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to battle. Sparkman will try and swing into what I hope is not green cap right. or mirror force. All right. So good. <laughs> good thing you attack with Sparkman. I. Okay. Night assailant. Let's destroy Dark Law. Um, can I do anything here? I don't think I can do anything here. Okay. So, unfortunately, he will go to Grave. And this will die. Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, okay, I'll under. Go ahead. Alright, let's see what I can get. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, see, had I used uh, Future Fusion, you could have just Night of Saints on whatever I summoned, so. I mean, I, I throw in these, like, weak little monsters with effects like his just to kind of make up for how shitty my deck might end up being, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't, can't go wrong. <sighs> oh, man. I hate these cards. <laughs> mine are yours. No, it's my, mine. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, oh, what the hell? All right, go ahead. Cool beans. Uh, standby main. Um, I guess I'll summon Heat. Okay. Oh, he gets. He has two thousand attack. Two thousand. Yep. All right. I will go to battle. I'll try and swing in with Sparkman. Okay. Sixteen. And then swing in 2,000. All right, I'll take that. And uh, on my turn. All right, come on. Big money. All right, well, this <laughs> might be big money. Okay. So, got upstart goblin. Good thing. All right, spin out the deck a little more. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. No, not again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First things first. Dark World Lightning. Um. Okay. A any response? No. 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 All right. <laughs> All right. So yes. And oh, okay. It's Solemn Judgment. Wow. Interesting. All right. Then I got to discard a card. Wow. Um. You do have two of them, so I guess that's fine. Yeah. I I got them out of like I think Dark Revelation two or one. Yeah. Or I think it was two this season. Anyway, um, all right. Normal summon snipe hunter. Okay. All Let right. I'm going again. to discard a card. Sure. And attempt to destroy that. Okay. Please. All right. It already screwed me once. Come on. Don't screw me again. Aww. All right. Good. All right. So we destroy him. Sure thing. Uh, and then that, that unfortunately that's it. Okay. 
Um, standby main. I will, I guess, normal summon Avion. Okay. I'll go to battle, try to swing into Snipe Hunter. Book Alright, we're gonna book a moon you. Yep. Okay. Uh, set not to the graveyard. That's right. Um, I guess then I'll activate mass change number two. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright. I will discard this other Avion and send this Avion on the field to the graveyard and summon a brand new hero that I've had that forever sense. that we've never seen. Divine Wind. Wait. Oh, so you've had it since like the starter uh, structure yeah. deck? Yeah, I just never okay. got to play. Uh, Can Tornado I destroy my battle? battle? Yep. Um, and um. when I attack and destroy a monster, I get to draw a card. There you go. Fuck. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> there we go. I'll draw one. Cool beans. Main phase, I'll set. Um. I cannot flip. can up. attack with only one monster per battle phase. What kind of? <laughs> yeah, good old dark door. <laughs> what kind of crap? Uh, right. I'm pretty sure I can't flip Sparkman, right? Um, no, because he attacked. Right. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, he can't oh, change his battle. Try to end my turn. Please. <laughs> that's these heroes just showing up, and all of a sudden it's like, I can't do this, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. what is... Your monsters are banished. What? There we go. Got a crap. All right. All right, go ahead. Cool beans. Didn't uh, advantage over your mask heroes, man. Stand by me. I'll flip some in uh, this. Um, and I guess I will. Hey, you don't have Cyber Jar, presumably. I'll probably I'll lose my shit. All right, you know yeah. what? I, I, that's okay. it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Hold on a minute. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, so I'm starting to see that I, I probably got really lucky game one. Okay. That you like opened up jack shit, yes. and then like I'm realizing. I mean, it's just the cards that discard. I hate cards that make you discard because all of a sudden they just run out of shit. That's what they do. I hate, I hate them so much, but like that's the only good cards I have. Actually, I'm gonna take that back. Um, okay, that's fine. <sighs> hmm. I'll set this. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ooh, okay. Um, Alright, I'm gonna activate the upstart goblin in my hand. Sure thing. I will gladly take the thousand life points. Okay, let's go. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and normal summon Zanji. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what this face down card is. Any card trooper, so I'll draw one. Oh, oops. Sorry, I'll draw one. I hate to see it. All right. <laughs> and there you go. All right. Uh, standby main, I will special summon Cyber Dragon. Is that good? Nice. Uh, yeah, I think that's all right. All right. I will normal summon Sparkman. Is that all right? I forgot he had two of them. Yep. Yep. I will activate Righteous Justice to destroy oh, this. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, well then, okay, you forced my hand then. All right, I'm going to activate. <laughs> Karma Cut, okay. Karma Cut, Banish Cyber Dragon. Cool beans. Uh, this is only the ones that are in my graveyard, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this card doesn't go through people's decks or anything. Okay. Um, I guess I will end on that. All right, good. Good, excellent. Good. Okay, excellent. All right, perfect. So now I'm able to pull off something like this. I'm going to normal summon a Yaichi. And since there's another six Sam on the field, I can activate his effect where I can destroy a set card. Set spell and trap. Uh, he just can't attack this turn. Okay. I yep, so I'm going to Oh. You're gonna oh you want to activate on his effect to target? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because he can't attack. Karma cut. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's banish Sanji. Or, mm. Sanji, this is the one activating the effect, right? Yep. Okay, yeah, so I'm doing Sanji. Alright. Well, did his job. Um, <laughs> Alright, I'm going to set a card and go ahead. Alright. Um, standby main. I'll go to battle, swing in with Sparkman. 
<laughs> um, Unfortunate. Yeah. Good old. Goes down to eight hundred. I'll take five. Yeah. Okay. Stand by. I will set. Go ahead. All right. Uh, that'd be cool if his effect worked on monsters too, but it's just set and spell and traps. Um, I guess I'll normal summon uh, Kamon. Sure thing. I don't know how to say his name. It sounds like his name is Kamon. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what the space down is. Uh, what does this do? Yeah, oh, uh, I, I would mention oh, it it if face there's anything. That, yeah, he destroys face up spell and traps. He destroys face down spell and traps. Okay, well. Uh, you'll lose 60, Ooh, 100. okay. That's good. That's good defense right there. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Interesting. Stand by main. Um, and then these, their other effect is if. Um, uh, one... So if yeah, one's about to be destroyed, the other one can be destroyed in its place. Okay. If I choose to, yeah. Okay. Um. I will put. Droid and attack. Uh-huh. Don't really have a choice. I will normal summon Avion. Oh. Okay. Um. Uh-oh. It's going to matter when I do this, right? I'll uh, use yeah. mass change. Uh, I think it's the only time you would ever summon Avion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could have had a uh, miracle oh, fusion. Oh, man. I'll get a uh, divine wind. Oh, the sky again. All right. <laughs> I've got a battle. Mm -hmm. um, I'll try and attack into uh, Yaichi. All right, so here's what's going to happen, right? I am mm -hmm. going to... I'm going to take the damage, but I'm going to make it so that he gets destroyed instead. Okay. So you won't get the draw. Um, I believe it, it's when he destroys a monster by battle, right? Yeah, I guess that, that makes sense. Sends sure. it to the graveyard. So it's not sent to the graveyard, so... That prevents you from drawing. Okay. It's a pro, pro strat right there. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. And then I'll use Joe Lloyd. All right. I can't stop that, so. Oh, well, damn. Okay. Enough. Go ahead. You got me with your pro strats. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, normal summon Zanji. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attack over the Joe Lloyd. Figure it as much. Okay. Cool beans. Yikes. All right. <laughs> uh, stand by main. Um, uh -huh. It can't be destroyed by battle, he said? He cannot be destroyed by battle. Oh, oh boy. So if you shrink him, it's not that big of a deal, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, this card's a weird one, so I don't know if I want to do it. So I think I'll just go to yeah. battle, attack at the Zanji. Okay, for 900. Well, I'll draw a card. Uh, it's, a it's a really good uh, strategy to never play this card until much later. <laughs> so now, <laughs> I had I'll no play. idea you had such a <laughs> such a monster this whole time. I'm going to summon another six samurai. Okay. Let's go ahead and attack over this card. And there's going to be Shadow Mist. I'll use okay. her effect. To grab the um, heat. Okay. Doesn't help at all. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stand by main. I uh, will normal summon said heat. Yep. He'll get two thousand or two thousand two two hundred two. Who will get until two thousand attack? Yep. Um, I will go in with um, divine wind attack. Yep. Your mouse is destroyed. I'll draw a card. That's right. I'll swing in for uh, 2,000 here. Oh boy! All right. Main two. I'll set one. Go ahead. All right. Come on. Come on. Uh, I mean, oh, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. But all right. I have no choice but to activate the smashing ground I just picked up. Uh, yep, that, so that will destroy. does get rid of him. All right, came like two turns too late, but that's all right. <laughs> uh, now he's down to eighteen hundred. Yep. Look at your face down, B though. Could be anything really. Yep. 
that? Uh, crown the mage. Okay. All right, uh, battle. Okay. You're gonna crash. Let's crash. Okay. Sure. Yeah, let's crash. All right. All right, come on. Interesting. Stand by main. Um, oh, yeah. I'll activate my face down card. Hero okay. Warriors. Um, I will. All right, lose. all right. Then we, we we take that because <laughs> as life puts half, we. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take what one fifty. We're gonna get this comeback. Yep. All right. Um, which lets me special summon a hero from my um, a level four or deck. lower. Yep. Um, with a hero. So I'll bring out Alias. Ooh, yeah. And then I will normal summon. Yeah. Uh, this for a game. <laughs> All right. Let's just protect ourselves for like one more turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Well. Ah. Uh... So yeah. did you get like Shogun and everything else and the other guy? Uh, well, Shogun, we each got Shogun. Right. From uh, wait, thing. or no, what's his name? No, it's Grandmaster. Grandmaster. Well, no, Grandmaster is the uh, the one that you special summon. Yeah, that right. Guy. No, I, I had him. Yeah. <laughs> ah, man, dude. Well, you're back on heroes, which is extremely strong. <laughs> like you've been trying all these other things with, uh, you know, Death Frogs, and you had um, Dinosaurs, and then you had, like, Banisher, and, like, you know, all those, like, different decks or whatever. So I was yeah. like, all right, let me try something new and throw him off completely. And, like, I had this Recruiters, and I was, like, thinking, okay, I could play car cool cards like Zaborg and all this other stuff. Oh, wow. Um... But yeah, getting two six sams on the field was was it was hard as I expected. Yeah. Um, like the whole idea of like summoning a monster and then like protecting them with Book of Moon and Shrink and then gaining advantage of having two of them on the field like it just didn't uh didn't work. No, surprisingly, because <laughs> I didn't really get anything. Yeah. Too crazy. I just managed to get the mass change. I guess. I, don't know, I, I got all these six sands, and I was like, "Ooh, they're kind of good." But I was like, "Well, no, they're only good because of like synchros, right?" Uh, um, not because of synchro. When synchros come out, they get um, more support. No, no, but we get yeah, they do get more support. Yeah, but like other than that, I was like, "Well, he plays cards like macro and stuff, so you know these cards can pop, face up spell and traps or whatever." And you know, you got the recruiter and everything. But yeah, I, I wasn't getting like my powerful trap cards at all. Yeah. That was pretty bad. Hey, I mean, well, you, you got the first game because I just fucking hard brick. Yeah, no, but now, now, like, I knew this deck was nothing, like, compared to Magnets, but I just wanted to throw you off, maybe, and, like, play something different. So are you playing but... zero Magnets? Well, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I, I should have just stick with them, but... I'm ah. surprised you didn't do both. That's crazy. I mean... I mean, that would be expected, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true, yeah. If I was Magnus again, like, I know, I know, I get it. I was expe I was good. waiting the entire time, like, alright, he normals up his beta, or he activates future routine, yep, yep. I know, but I, I was expecting you to still be on, like, Banisher and stuff, so I was like, well, yeah. you know, these six ands are stronger <laughs> than Banisher, and they and macro wasn't, won't matter anymore, but, like, you're actually back on, like, heroes, so... Yeah. I, I unfortunately I figured you would be on you would think that I was gonna do that again so I was like all right let me go back really? to girls uh, <laughs> mind games it's good, it's good play but yeah now six Sams are pretty like pretty bad like right now yeah they um yeah. I think they like won some tournaments or something like that somehow but um yeah they don't really do much yeah. But like with older, like maybe I, yeah. I, would, I would be playing this with like Chaos Sorcerer and stuff like that. Yeah, maybe you know, something that, like that that would work out pretty well. But other than that, I yeah no, I kept drawing all these monsters, and the only cards I had were the Shrinks. Oh, you know what? I did discard Shrink with Karmica, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I got I got rid of a protective spell, but like yeah. I didn't expect to not draw like the other ones. Well, I learned my lesson. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it makes you feel better, if it wasn't for that mass change, um, 
I, I, I was pretty sure at that point, before mastering, I was like, oh no, this, <laughs> I this can't is, do yeah. anything. Uh, this is where it ends. But... Yeah, I was like, oh, this is great. I'm gaining advantage. My monsters are stronger than his. Like, this is great. Yeah. Uh, well, it is what it is. I, I, I just wanted to try something different. Hey, I appreciate Start it. And throw you off, but you also like countered that. <laughs> yeah. Perfectly, so. It's fine. Until next time when I play something completely different yeah. again. Yeah. No, this series is so weird because like when I'm looking at the, the magnet deck or whatever, I'm just like, yeah, but he's gonna see it coming and he's gonna be like, you know, prepared for it and everything. So yeah. I was like, I was like, it won't work anymore. But I, eh. mean, I don't know. It's it's still been working, but I'm definitely every single time. I'm just gonna expect magnets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's nothing to justify like my deck. Like I just, it's it's bad. Like <laughs> the only power monsters I have is Grandmaster and Zabor. But I was yeah. like, well, I'll I'll just you know tactically use my spell and traps and, and overpower them and play stronger monsters. But nope. Yeah. <laughs> no, sorry. it did not work. So no. uh -huh. Upstart Goblin couldn't help me with the. Like yeah. thinning out the deck enough. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, we tr we always try to do things differently. Yeah. That that's all that matters. As long as you try so, something and you yeah. had fun. And it just goes to show you how much of a scam Yu-Gi-Oh really is, because <laughs> not all decks are 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 all powerful. All these not archetypes, at all. not at all up to par with other decks. Nope. Gotta spend that money. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta buy them Force of the Breaker packs. Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, alright, well, good game. Good uh, games, man. What, what do we have to look forward to next time? So, um, Force of the Breaker is cool. Um, I won't tell you everything that's in it, but I will tell yep. you um, Crystal Beast is in it, which is kind of cool. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, and as for promos, we will be getting a copy of um, uh, Stratos, which is dope. For some reason, it doesn't show up on this Ooh. site, but uh, we're going to get one copy of Stratos, which is cool. Damn. Yeah. Okay. So that may or may not be good for your, for you. It's definitely good for me for obvious reasons. Well, Stratos is an amazing card. Like, yeah. I am so... Yeah, and I definitely have a I have a bunch of e calls, so you know yeah. that that's something to look forward to. Then um, um, there's also we also have Zane exactly. Truesdale like pack too. We have to do this pack for Zane Truesdale next time. So yeah. that one is actually like really good. Holy shit! Oh my god! I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Dude, Zane is like the coolest motherfucker in that show. Like, oh my god! His deck is so good. This shit is busted. Oh my god. Well, alright. Um, <laughs> Can't wait to finally get a Cyber Dragon, because like, I, I need a good monster. There's a good chance you will. It's at the rare rarity. Oh my god. But you, you'll just have three of them, though. Probably. Like, yeah. I mean, it's not like I have Cyber End. But... Yeah, well, we're only opening five of those. Yeah, so. yeah. So there's a good chance you'll get one. But um, <laughs> Okay. There's a lot of other good stuff. I won't spoil it for you, but there's a lot of other good stuff, so don't go don't, don't for right. it. All right. Well, that was a good game, but yeah, Heroes is just so consistent. They're they're so damn like good, and I I just haven't seen him in so long because yeah. you're trying all this other stuff. So yeah, I went back to my roots. Ser serves me right. <laughs> yeah. Fuck six amps, dude. I hate six amps. I can't believe I thought about. Oh. I can't believe I, I I wanted the video to be different, but at the same time, I I my my uh, I've sunk in this low to play fucking six amps. <laughs> I'm not proud of myself right they, now. They don't worry, there's support in the next set. No, but once we get to 5Ds, like, we're not using these. Like, yeah. it's gonna get, the, the collection's gonna get wiped again. Yeah. Oh, so, fuck them. No, but I mean, next set, you get some more support for 6 amps. Nah, fuck them, dude. Yeah, no, the support's not very good, don't worry about it. Like Crystal Beast. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Alright, but anyway, good games, as always. Uh, good to see Green Kappa pop off again, but <laughs> of course. he was not helpful at all this time. <laughs> <Yeah>. so, <laughs> he was. I mean, it didn't matter that game, but he was helpful. True, true. He's looking really good. <laughs> yeah. Alright, man. You have a good night. You too, man. Take care. <laughs> I see you. See ya.